I'm Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing an intermediate, I would say, technique exercise involving Broadway's, Manhattan's, Shirley Temple's, Alexander's, butterflies, whatever you call this stuff, falap heel, heel, spank heel, toe heel, um, and alternating falap heel heels. It is kind of what I like to call a toe twister. It's like a tongue twister, but for your feet. Um, it's one of those where you really have to know which part you're on so that you don't do the incorrect heel first. Super fun exercise, great brain teaser for your students. If you're a teacher and you're looking for material to bring to class, this is a great one, absolutely. So let's go ahead and get started. It starts with two, I'm gonna call them Broadways for this video, because that's what I grew up calling them, but it translates to Manhattan, Shirley Temple, Alexander, some people call them New York, some people call them Butterfly, like all these different names. Um, somebody called it a scissor step, which I learned something else is a scissor step. So yeah, whatever you call it, write it down below. I'm interested to hear. Also, sorry about the outside sounds. Bento has decided he wants to do laps around the house today, so I cannot close the porch door. So we're just gonna deal with some cicadas today. <laughs> All right, so it starts with two broadways, one to the right, one to the left. And if you've never done a Broadway before, that is okay. I have a step tutorial for it down below in the description in the step tutorials playlist. It's listed as a Broadway Manhattan or a Shirley Temple, I think. So go ahead and learn it and then come back to this video when you're ready. So Broadway, Broadway, five, six, seven, eight. Also, I did forget to mention, we are starting it up with the brush on and. So and, one, okay? Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. From there, you have falap heel, heel, falap heel, heel, falap heel, heel. You're using your working heel first. So you have falap to the front, right heel, left heel. So that working heel goes first. Opposite of what you do in Broadway. In the Broadway, it is the standing heel that goes first. Now for this part, we're switching it. So we have left, right, left. Now you do it to the side. Left, right, left. Now we go back to the front. Left, right, left. So first two Broadways, it was opposite heel first. Now it's same heel first for the front side front. Let's just do the front side front real quick. Full lap heel heel, full lap heel heel, full lap heel heel. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Good? One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. You finish it with an opposite heel first. Okay? So that last one is not working heel first, it is standing heel first. So left, left, left. And that's how you finish the phrase. So let me put that all together for you. It's two Broadways. Now you have front side front with working heel first. Now you're going to do opposite heel first. So in this case, the left heel goes first. And that switches you to the other side. And then you would start the whole thing. The switch is the hardest part. The switch to the next side is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. So let's try it again from the top. All of it. Don't worry about switching to the next side yet. Let's just make sure we have the pattern. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Try it, moving it to the left. You start with Broadway, another Broadway. Now we have working heel first, front side front. And then opposite heel first. So let's try the left side, a little slower, just to make sure we got it. Five, six, seven, eight. Now 
let's try right going directly into left. The hardest part about that is that the last thing you do on the right side is an opposite. You'll go straight into a Broadway. All right, so that's the hardest part of the whole thing. Let's try it right to left. Five, six, seven, eight. The only way to do that is to make sure that we do right, left, right, left, so that we practice switching from left to right. Otherwise, we never would. So, right, left, right, left. Give it a shot. Let's do it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Store because the cicadas were getting a little loud for me. So no more circles around the house, Bento. I'm sorry. He seems fine with it. <laughs> started it and it didn't like end with the phrase end and that bothers me I don't know if that bothers everybody else but that actually does get to me so if you're like me let me know in the comments because I want to know that I'm not alone like if uh if when you're going across the floor in like ballet class if they start when it's like halfway through the phrase and you know that you're going to be dancing on the wrong part of the music it just bugs you <laughs> so I just did that to myself which is great all right, let's try it again. This time I'll start in the correct place. Let's have some fun with it.
you know? All right, so hopefully you all enjoyed this exercise so much. I really enjoyed teaching it to you. I'm gonna have fun bringing this to my classes when I have them again. I'm filming this at the start of summer, so I have a little break, but um, I'm excited to bring this to my classes when I have them, and I'm excited to film it for y'all. I don't know when it's gonna come out on the channel, but I'm filming it at the start of summer, so I hope that you are having a wonderful summer so far. Um, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We have technique exercises like this, step tutorials where you can learn just a step, which I talked about earlier, and then you can take all those things that you learn and do it in a combination to some choreography or like to one of your favorite songs. Uh, we do those too. I release those on Saturdays. I release technique exercises on Tuesdays, and it's pretty consistent on this channel, so you're always going to be able to come here every week and find new material for you to learn and it's all free and it's all for you so please subscribe to this channel it's the single best way of supporting my work so thank you so much already for your subscription and that thumbs up that you're gonna hit oh yeah because when you hit that thumbs up button youtube knows people like free tap dance class and so it pushes out free tap dance class to more people and then more people learn to tap which is so great and it doesn't just do it when you thumbs up one person's video it doesn't just do it for that one person youtube goes huh People like tap dance, and then it starts putting more tap dance out there. So I'm not the only one doing tutorials on YouTube. There's plenty of other wonderful people. There's United Taps, there's Shelby Kaufman, tons of people doing fun tap dance tutorials, and it's all free. So hit that thumbs up button so YouTube goes, we should put more of this out there in the world, because they should. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this combination, and as always, thank you for dancing with me.